And hello, my brave nice princesses and princesses. We're back with an episode of To the Moon. I haven't played this game since <laughs> forever ago. I have my reasons. So where can we go? I'm not sure where we're supposed to go. Don't know what that's for. What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Johnny? Well, pleasant surprise. We don't get visit many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline. This is Dr. Von Methodorn. Dr. Lo Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you too familiar with the agency? How convenient. I've just been I've just been thinking of calling you. Lee. Hey. Get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there, if you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. What did Neil show some respect? Eh, it's just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. You can tell us. 
it's essential for helping us to get you there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry. But I really don't know. I just... do. I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the neck. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through memories to gradual, with gradual backward leaps. Which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence you to childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more than just set than just I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item of we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a mental of some sort to get us started? That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Oh. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. In most cases, it can't be helped. Turn up visibility and interactivity, it'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah, happy. Jeez, what's with all these rabbits? This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked this record for psychopathy first. His record. His record. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of his of this memory. Then I stand by my point. And my quick blabbering find memento here to pop from. Well, aren't you special having two colors when all your siblings look like they're drowned in bleach? What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes, I agree. Clock is moving but soundless. Click 
glass of pickled olives. <laughs> I hate this stuff. What's to hate? It's pickled olive. Exactly. An old and patched up backpack. What is this? A million years old? Guess we'll find out. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Cool. Flesh wildflowers. Don't know if you have to explain a person to him in every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me. Okay, now we can travel with the memento, which is an umbrella. How fascinating. Hadouken! What in the world was that? What? That's it. I'm doing the breaking from now on. I have a sinking feeling this is going to get harder as time goes on. When it comes to rain, though it's better than on the through is better than onto. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like this these memories hops only span a short period of time. When you find a leaping memento, it's going to take forever. Meh, just enjoy the scenery. Oh. Um. Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. Well, it's not big enough for two of you. That was an hard to find. It's finished, River. Like you, I'll be able to watch over here every day, over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stay true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. When I'm gone... Who is going to watch over us? Who are you? My name is Eva. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes. Her name was River. 
That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm? She... she didn't need to do it. But she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. But we will soon, won't we? About time you got here, I almost thought you fell off the cliff. What were you doing? Join the scenery, what else? Any luck here? Big luck, huge, dinosauric. This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse, what do you expect? Anyway, I'll ca catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. Oh. Just enough. After you pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it. So don't you worry. Why lie? That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we can just stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances, I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my own will? We needed the, the mon we need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this this is just too much. I mean she she isn't even Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatments get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her. Visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? What 
happy. I'll be happy. Johnny? Yes? I made this. Tell me what it is. What? <laughs> Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit, like all the others you made. What else? Um, it's made of paper. What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, River. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. It's called Forever. Why so cliche? It's just a placeholder. Who is this Anya that you were talking about? If she's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in his late memories? I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. Unless... Unless what? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a ri quick ride or look around yourself? <sighs> Let's go. I think I know who they're talking about. Who Anya is? Let's just go. Look what we have here. I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living in it. Nick just called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills... But the medical bills. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for our treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... 
don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have barely been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm... I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure what she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. If that's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, I am not allowed to be selfish even once. I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. They wanted me to give you this. You said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. Dude, the game's amazing. Poor Johnny, he's just trying to do his best for River. That's all he's trying to do right now. I really feel for the guy. It's all he's trying to do is do what's right for him. River. Even if it means telling lies all the time. Thank you. 
Well, this is embarrassing. That took way too long. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Construction starting in a few months. Just a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payments. With financing, we'll make do. How wonderful. Having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some news that I get together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Be right back. I want to get some fresh air. Me too. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river, still qu so quiet, huh? Eh, she's actually been talkative at home, and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. Ah, so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. There's just the incident she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes. Lots of them. Ah! I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't I suppose say something like that is a common trait with reverse condition? Yes, but does something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. The strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her to. Have you asked Isabel? Yes, she says she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Hmm. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, you're probably right. Probably? I'm always right, John. Wait, so even he himself never if never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we got bigger problems. It's a confused memory, and there's no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me, I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hey you, could I get a bottle of pickled olives please? 
Sure, cash or credit. Check. Air, I'm sorry we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You are so getting resetted. Hey there, could I get... <laughs> hello, hello, could I get a bottle of pink dollars, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab, I feel like spending big money today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's a pickle dollops. Thanks, bro. We'll be gaining an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such a moron, you Oh, loosen up. Hurry up already, I don't want to be stuck here. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you fellow olive lover? Indeed I am, just got fresh all of, so of them myself in fact. And if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat, we'll down the ball together. Oh yeah, that sounds just so... <laughs> if I disable taste simulation now. Oh Neo, I don't think, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh ho 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 ho. Uh, uh, you okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone else could. But it so seems to be dis disgusting. Take your time. We've got two bottles left. It's gonna die. <laughs> so I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. And you know what else is wrong with society to get today? Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Yeah, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How were the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. Hooks, man! Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. Nailed it. Right, well. Um. Save. We'll be back, guys. Leave a like and subscribe, because there's always room for more, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.